Hey guys, I'm back again with my channel and so yeah, so previously it was like uh, my home was really cluttered a lot of things and I was not able to make so we are right now here in my college and yeah the idea is like being a dropout itself and really just kind of going through it. Uh, I thought really come to the college itself and really start to make video. So without any wasting much more time, I just want to really just kind of give you a brief uh, perspective about Rocky. So as you have watched the thumbnail, thumbnail and the title itself about we are what we are going to talk about the system design and the especially about the planning itself and how we are integrating the form with your AWS backend itself. So this just like I'm really want to try out and discuss uh, what I've really gone through else and pretty much regarding it. So as you have really uh, might have just kind of gone through uh, what I've really just made with the face match itself. So if you are really new to this video or really new to this channel itself, so this video is really a part of the series which I have really made out. So click in the i button right here so you get more information right on that. So that said. Just, I really want to kind of give you a brief scenario that so this was the form that I really made up right here, uh, which you can see up right here. And so, yeah, I really want to just kind of use the AWS services because they are super cheap, they are really scalable itself, they are they can do anything much more than what I really want. So, previously, I was really considered between using the passport JS or whether to use the AWS Cognito itself, and once I really got the Quests of really what the cognito can do, or what the cognito is capable of doing. I thought let's give it a chance and let's try to do it. Like so, I started out to just kind of you know, to deep dive out and just kind of explore what it is. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, like processes is the uh, process regarding is. So and also like we have to really also kind of learn the. Uh, Lambda function itself and the working of DynamoDB. So, and I'm really also really trying to figuring itself like how to just kind of uh, come up with a system diagram. So, really just kind of uh, so we can really just point out the flow of everything like Lambda, DynamoDB, so any analytic services or like Cloud CloudWatch. Uh, I was thinking like one of my friend uh, told to really just kind of use uh, CloudFront. So like to just kind of uh, give it a content delivery system, but that's uh, kind of uh, expensive. Uh, sure, it can really uh, enhance the experience, but I don't think that's a really viable choice for considering the like, we are really at so early and young stages. So, if we happen to make some of the other revenue, then we can think of other. But where was I? Uh, yeah, I was just at uh, kind of the form and the cognitive itself. So, right now. So the current scenario itself, I'm really just discovering uh, how to integrate the form with the cognitive itself, what are the parameters, it's, what are the required conditions uh, and how to really just uh, once if I really authenticated that and how to replicate that cognitive data into the dynamo itself by giving a lambda function itself. And the second uh, major issue regarding uh, is that like compressing the, uh, it, compressing the profile image. Now, what we really, what I really want to say is that so previously I really made video on image compression and how you can go on, you can check right up here. Uh, it's like, yeah. So, so image compression is really important. And so imagine, uh, really a lot of today's smartphones are really capable of giving the super awesome selfies, which have, which is a really a big at size sometimes, two, two MB or five MB, or it can go up to ten MB. Itself. And we don't want to render as it is as perfect image to our uh, compar comparison page. One of the two factors uh, to improve the user experience and to just kind of think, if we just use that uh, 10 MB image, first of all, it will use a lot more bandwidth. It will really, it will really uh, degrade the uh, user experiences, and it will really give us sluggish performance, which we, which we really don't want any of these things. So I really come up with an idea of compressing with the images, which is not new at all, which is a really uh, standard by de facto, any standard so, uh, it's surpassing right now in the kind of thing. So I'm really figuring out right now that uh, how can we really come up with a system design itself and uh, really just kind of taking that image from the user, store it in the S3 bucket, then passing to the lambda function itself and then going creating back into the compressed image itself 
and that compressed uh, image URL location itself uh, will go to the specific UI, uh, specific person's uh, information itself and how do we come up with uh, such a like, uh, kind of database structure itself so like suppose uh, essentially the face mesh idea is really like every forest should have its own individual container set so that we can really compare each other and all that things so I'm really right now figuring out which is one of the best thing to do just come up right here and as far as right now though my theoretical concepts are clear before going to the coding phase itself I'll really make sure to come up with a with the diagram itself and to just kind of give it a brief glimpse about it how will they perform what are the things and these are the just the beginner phase itself and if we really get complete itself so I guess we will just complete about the 20% in my opinion the next and very important thing then phase will be just kind of making that comparison algorithm and one of the like some of the other uh, day on twitter really a guy told me that it's just a, like two hours of work design a system but but when you really consider scale, when you consider the uh, level of fairness, when you consider of the complexity that it has, if you are just loaded the preloaded images and you really just kind of comparing it, then sure it can be. But when you are really working with such a dynamic thing where the users are logging in, users are getting out of this thing, and naturally it will really affect the point structure and the kind of thing. So that isn't completely in other part itself and will definitely talk regarding it so i just wanted to really make a video today itself like uh, what's my plans today and uh, how did we come up with it so to really kind of just make a form integrate with the co cognito and the story with the dynamo deal itself and in the later video also it's like i'll really come up with the system designing of all things itself including the compression uh, image compression api and to store in the mechanism itself so yeah this is what I want to say and if you have any question, query, suggestion, just leave down in the comment section below and I'll be really happy to get back to you. So till then, stay subscribed to my channel, stay connected and have a nice day.